something just exploded near the sun in our solar system. Now, we have here an image from Webcam de Mexico. They have a number of webcams, uh, not only on their volcanoes, but various areas around Mexico. And we have seen lately a lot of Planet X Nibiru nemesis, but we also saw this recent explosion that took place April last year, and it lasted a good couple of hours. And you can see the embedded video here having to do with the images found on SOHO. Uh, you can clearly see it as it flashes. So it did explode. It's not a question. It did explode. And it took place April 2nd to 3rd, and it lasted a good couple of hours. And you can see the video being run uh, as it, and there's this huge flash, and we, we don't know where it, it where it's coming from because it's at the end of the, the side of the frame. But um, what's the explanation for this? So the street camera ahead H, the stereo camera ahead H uh, I one recorded what looked like an explosion far to the right of the sun. So if that really was an explosion, which it, I think it was, obviously, what else could it be? It was either really close to the satellite or it was bigger than a planet. Well, of course it was bigger than a planet. It was almost, I would say, bigger than the sun. But anyway, you'll see it for yourself. It was bigger, if it was bigger than a planet, then we could say that whatever caused it is powerful indeed and we should do everything in our power uh, not to uh, tick them off. So there's a lot of, you know, every the thing, the, the very strange thing, I don't know, what is it strange, but most of us run around without looking at the sky at all. We just uh, uh, want to see if it's a rainy day or a sunny day, you know, if we should, how we should dress, carry an umbrella, but we don't look at the sky. We don't even um, sit a couple of hours a day or maybe just a couple of hours during the weekend in a natural surrounding, just to enjoy nature, which is supposed to be good for us. You know, anyway, that's the real reason why God gave us a day of rest, to um, bring health back to our our body and our frequency. It's not, we're not resting when we're sitting in front of a TV tube. We're resting when we're in silence. We're, we're, we're in, uh, just emptying our minds and uh, enjoying nature. And our frequency is healthier that way. Uh, but this thing, when we look up at the sky, we notice a lot of things that uh, we don't know are there. Th there's no explanation for this. So uh, please look at it. It's only a couple of minutes, uh, two minutes or so. It's a recap of uh, a rerun of whatever is there. And it's huge. And I don't know what it could be. Uh, so please let me know if you know what it is. Thank you. This is on Underground Science. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.